Hi guys, so for today's Freeform Friday, um, I'm going to be using this stamp. So the links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. And the reason I say that is because this is new. Sometimes for Freeform Friday, I try to use things I already had in my stash, but I just got my Impression Obsession um, haul in and everybody <laughs> pretty much was commenting that they wanted to see this stamp in action and I was like well I do too and I usually whenever I'm super excited about because I am excited about this I try to use it right away like in that video even if it's a haul video but I didn't want to um mess it up or, or not do it right and then just leave you with that impression so let's try it out we're gonna try it out together and then I guess I'm gonna build something off of this so this is a slimline background you can use it for other things I'm I'm would assume if you want to cut it down, you know what I'm saying, after you stamp it, use just a portion of it or however, but um, it doesn't have sizes on here. And then I'm going to build something off of that. So we'll just, again, wing it, which is pretty much what I do in every video. So Freeform Friday to me is just, you know, basically doing what I do anyway. But um, let me measure this. I'm just measuring the rubber itself, but, you know, obviously the stamp ends somewhere inside of there. It's about 8 and 3 eighths by three and three eighths or so um so that's good because that mats i a, like my slimline bases to be eight and a half by seven and then i scored at three and a half so they're eight and a half by three and a half okay so this mats right into that you know it's just basically an eighth of an inch of you know a sixteenth of an inch on each side an eighth of an inch all around smaller so um i'm gonna do this a couple ways um you know, whenever I have something like this, and especially like the, anything I have from like maybe even Local King or things like that. Oh, I do need to use my Local King stamps more because I know you guys want to see more of those. Um, it was getting really tight during the sales and rushes and all that. So uh, let me see. I'm going to get a piece of stamping paper. And if you're new to my channel, please know this is just kind of how I do things. Um, I don't try things out in advance and then and then show you the easiest way you know what i'm saying like show you like a perfect way to use it because i think that's misleading just like you when you get your items at home um you're gonna have to use them somehow right so a lot of times things don't even come with instructions or ideas so you got to break it in and you got to know how to do it so uh, you know yesterday i got a comment about why don't you do this you know again uh you know, when I was making the bow for that slimline card I did on Wednesday that, oh, it took forever for me to make the bow. Why didn't I just do it perfect? It's like, you want me to lie to you? <laughs> like, if that's what you want, you can watch something else. Because here, we try it out, and if it works, great. If it took me a while, great. Like, it's just what shows you guys. Because otherwise, you're going to try something, or maybe you're not going to try it because you're intimidated. I want you guys to try whatever it is that we're looking at, you know? Um, so let me see. Uh, I guess I can use a quick dry stamp and so I, I let that viewer know that um you know that's not how i do it here uh let me grab a stamp color that would look good with this i'll be right back blues but i'm like these are so light i think baby blue is really pale i guess we'll do ocean blue and see what that looks like so i'm gonna do it straight off just leaving it here inking it up and then pressing my paper to it and then i'm also going to use maybe a stamp positioner and see if that uh, works better again this is a big guy Oh, there's something on there. We don't want that there. So yeah, so welcome to my channel if you're new, but just so you know, I'm just working with stuff. <laughs> well, the other thing she had said in that video for that comment was, if you're getting these things free and you're getting paid, why don't you take the time to iron the ribbon? Remember I had mentioned, I said, oh, I'm not gonna iron the ribbon, but if you guys wanna iron your ribbon, uh, I was like, well, I wasn't paid for that. <laughs> uh, they weren't free items. I don't know what that makes a difference. But um, anyway. Oh, this is interesting. So what's tough about this is that this thing has a very... See, the edge of this is very obvious. I, I'm going to try to smooth that out. I don't know how to smooth that out, but... I'm just trying to maybe brush it. I don't know. Oh, this is a bummer. I don't know what to do about the hard edges. You know, you can see them there. Let me try to soften them a little bit. So you can see I inked it up, but now I'm just kind of going over it and trying to soften those edges. But if you rub it like I was showing, like, you're going to have streaks. Okay, I'm trying to be very gentle about it. We'll see what happens. Oh, no, I don't know what to... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that doesn't look very great, but we'll see what happens. 
again, I'm just gonna place this. I'm basically gonna cut this down anyway, so I don't really care where this ends up stamping, because I don't really like my mats to go like this one. I would mat this before I mat it to the card, so. I'm just using my hands to rub, 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 rub. That's probably good enough. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can see what they're doing. I mean, that looks awesome. Let me see what this picture... To me, the top of the sky is this darker blue part, right? But, the, I mean, that is pretty awesome, you guys. The only thing is those little edges that I got from my stamp pad. I don't know how to not get that. And the next one, I'm going to streak it across and see if you see streaks, okay? So for this next one, I think that's actually the best way to do it, to be honest. I just want to try it different ways. I'm going to use this because this is the biggest stamp positioner I have. Um, it's the Crafters Companion stamp positioner. And then I'm just going to have to take the back off of this. If you don't want to take the backs off, because, you know, I like to keep the carrier on there. That's how I am with my cling mounted stamps. Um, that's up to you. I don't even know where I want to put this. Uh, let's just put it here. Okay. Just gonna put it there. And again, if a, you have a big stamp, you want to make sure you don't have air bubbles because air bubbles will make it impossible to stamp. That little bubble underneath the surface will make it so that, for whatever reason, it, it just won't stamp in that area. So, uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'll straighten this out for you guys. I'm just going to put this paper here. I'm, I am going to use the um, magnets this comes with since it's a big piece of paper. You know what, where do I want to put this? If I have this here, I don't want to waste too much paper because this paper, I'm starting to run low. I think I have <laughs> two extra packs. Okay, that'd be perfect because you can see the paper peeking out back there. Okay. And I can see there's still a little movement, so I'm just going to stick that down. I don't think that's going to matter. And just so you know, on this precision press, you can still fudge it a little bit. If you move, it's still going to move. So it gives you some precision, but not like what you're expecting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna bring it across this way and see if that, but again, see those little streaks? I can see those streaks. Ugh. Well, I, I like the streaks better. I'm kind of, oh, this is interesting. What I did right now is I kind of let it go and like, that is so weird. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Okay, so that's where the color is going to be more, um, more opaque. It's the top part of the sky. This piece right here. So I'm just kind of messing with it. See, that's what I wanted to do. Just kind of let it get on there, but I don't know, guys. I don't know how to get those marks. And then down here, it's just kind of whatever. Okay, let's try it again and see what happens. That looks better, right? You see less marks. What I kind of let it do is I let it like pull it. Of course, I would pick them the uh, stamp that takes some work, right? Because that's just how it is here. It was so pretty and it works so great. Like it's a, such a cool idea. I just want to show you a couple ways. I think the best way you're going to get the impression though is to just put your hand over the back of the paper like I did the first time. I mean, you're going to get a good impression here too, but you don't have to fuss with it is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting everything. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so that was better. So I kind of did, like I said, I just floated and went, kind of let it, you saw what it was doing. It was kind of like skipping. Like, drrr. Look at that. <gasps> I love stuff like this. Oh, so pretty. Okay, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this card yet. So, let me grab some other dyes, inks. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I will be right back. And this thing, I'm just gonna clean it off by literally just wiping it. Um, I will use a little bit of water because it was a lot of ink that I put on here, but I'm going to spray it on my towel and then use that to wipe this. I don't really like putting water on my rubber stamp inks. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't hurt them, but after a while, I just feel like rubber and water, I guess they repel each other. It's not like it's going to dry it out, but maybe it will, you know? So I'd rather just wipe it down. And you see that I'm always going to use blue on this, so I don't really care that there's still a little bit of ink there. But if I keep putting some elbow grease into it, there it is. All right, I will be okay, right back. So I went and looked at my stash because I had an idea of using that little gnome set I've had for a while. Um, I don't know if this is in the Spellbinders fire sale, but I'll have links to obviously, like I said, everything. But um, 
this is really cute. I'm just wondering if the little toadstool is too big. It might be okay. That might be cute. Okay, so we have the toadstool. It has um, the little gnome, which is basically what I wanted to get. So our little gnome has lots of little pieces. So what I'll probably do um, is cut the pieces out and then I'll come back for the assembling, but you know how it is. So you cut out the skin color ones, you know, his little hat and it has like different things here. There's hair here. Um, actually, is that, no, that's his beard. <laughs> well, I guess it is hair, but it's beard. Um, you know, his little eye pieces. So you can see all the different ways. And usually Spellbinders, what they do is they try to keep things in a way that would make sense as far as the colors, you know, like his little, if you did his little hair gray, he has, I guess those are eyebrows. Yes, how cute. And then like a belt buckle. So those all could be gray or black or whatever, right? Whatever color you want. Um, brown, whatever color. Um, and then, you know, I'll cut out the other pieces. His little shoes. Oh my gosh, those are his shoes. Those are adorable. Look at the little boots. Anyway, um, and then I'll cut out the toadstool parts. And if there's anything special I need to tell you about with that one, I will. But basically, we're going to cut out a background toadstool and then cut out another one with this topper inlaid so that you have... Uh, I guess like you had white and then like let's say red which is probably what I'll do because I always like red toadstools and this little bottom part of your mushroom looks like this it's this piece so I'll cut that in like a more beigey color um along with the stem right of the mushroom and there's other little mushrooms that can accompany it and stuff so you know I'll just mix and match those I do have this little grass piece that I just picked up I know this one is not on sale right now um because when I went to get the links for the haul it wasn't on sale but I'll get the little grass maybe I was thinking that would be cute We'll see. And then I have some stamps that um, just like, you know, hello or whatever. So we'll see about this one. But I just, yeah, I never put sentiments on things. So I thought, well, maybe we'll do a sentiment today. So let me cut these things out. It looks like there's one more piece here that makes it look even nicer. Oh, and between the red and the bottom, there's this little accent piece that gives you a little more depth. That's really cute. Okay, I will be back. So I had to go drop off Miranda real quick. And so that's another thing, I like to talk. I talk about things that happen in my life. I like to talk about 
whatever thing that might pop into my head, a recipe, a sale, um, I'm waiting for something. Like I just chat on here too with you guys. And um, so again, if you're new to my channel, just know that, I'm, you know, I try to keep it a little less chatty, if you will, if I'm doing like a review for a company, but when it's just a video of my own, that's, well, those aren't my videos, they are my videos, but um, I might chat a little more, you know what I'm saying? So I try to keep the other ones kind of short, as short as I can. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's uh, 20 minutes is a short video. But anyway, so I came back right now. I'm sitting down. I'm like, okay, I'm going to start putting these pieces together. And I moved this out of the way because I'm like, oh, move this out of the way. And I forgot there was a piece in here. And I'm like, ah! So uh, I didn't lose anything, but I almost did. <laughs> it's these little pieces. I'm like, they're not there. It's the little eyebrows and the belt are here, but they're over here. <laughs> so let me bring those off. Hey, oh, yeah, it's because I forgot what I was doing. You know, while I'm dropping the kids off. Or the kid. There's only one going to actual school right now. Or in person, should I say. So I try to keep little pieces on their carrier on the piece, you know, this thing. Of course, I, I'm doing this differently because I'm doing a video. If I was just at home, well, I am at home. But if I was just doing this on my own, I would, you know, use the pieces as I'm cutting them. But I cut them all so that we can just get going. So this is a little bit different than I would normally do. I don't know if I need that piece. I don't even know what that is. But we'll just leave it there just in case. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I haven't cut any of the facial features because those are tiny and I want to do those all at once. So this is here somewhere. <clears throat> and okay, that's why. What? That's weird. Hold on. Okay. So if you try to match these up, I thought it's weird. I just figured this would be the same shape as this, but it's not. You see how this has like a notch? But I guess this goes up here somewhere, so it doesn't really matter. Just bring it up higher than the other piece. So I'm going to start putting this together and then we'll put our little guy together. Ooh, this was not closed all the way. Hopefully it did not dry out. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we Sorry, got... I have a little something in my throat. So today we were out, um, you know, doing yard work, I guess. <laughs> my husband was showing Dorian how to mow and there were sh uh, shamrocks what am i talking about mushrooms out there but what's funny is that some of them look like the little cap like bell mushrooms that you would buy at the store you know the little button mushrooms but bigger and then other ones look like straight up portobellos like seriously like kind of flat and you know that like brownish and kind of crackly on top but i was like i wonder that's weird that all of a sudden mushrooms popped up and there were different varieties <laughs> so i don't know what that was about but my husband's like throw that away i'm like no we're gonna eat it and he's like i don't know uh oh well all right, so I have the white base layer here, and then we're going to put this little guy on here. But yeah, if I knew anything about mushrooms, maybe I would be more adventurous, but no. I'm like, no. I was joking. I'm not going to eat it. Uh, let's put these here. And I know this house before we lived here, or long ago, and you can see old pictures, you know, like on Zillow or other things. There, was, there were some trees out there, so I'm assuming it's just growing on the rotting wood. I don't know. All right. So there's this guy. I'm trying to line it up more towards the top. So this little piece is peeking out down here, but that doesn't matter because we're going to put this on here. So this goes on here. I'm trying to see exactly where, maybe in here. That look good. I always refer back to the picture. Yeah, it's more this way. So I'll stick this guy down. And we're just going to build this little scene up, I suppose. Um, this set also has little grass. It has a little sign, which I thought, oh, that's so cute, because I have those little stamps I brought out. But I don't know that the stamps work on that sign, because the sign is very small. The stamps I brought out are a little bit bigger. Um, this piece goes on here somewhere. I'm going to figure that out before I try. What I was trying to show you in the video is I try to put as many little die cut pieces on one pass. That way we're, you're done faster. And it goes there. Oh my gosh, this piece is gangly. All right. I suppose you could use tweezers. I know sometimes my ladies like to use tweezers to hold on to stuff. And put this over on here. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go more this way. So the danger of this glue is that it dries really, really fast. But I want to make sure I have this in the right spot. Okay, it's kind of going off the edge of the beige paper. It's not right on top of the beige paper, so hopefully you can kind of see that. It kind of hooked over the top. 
And then this piece, I'm not sure I want to put it on yet. Maybe we'll put this piece on once we make our card, but it basically has to go like that. But I'm going to keep these separate for now. Okay, our little body. So this is the thing where you always kind of have to look at it and think how you want to build this up. So let me get these pieces out. So on the part that cuts the pants, it has some other piece on there that I do not know what it's supposed to be. So there's this piece, and I hope you can kind of see it's like little pants. <laughs> it cuts these two pieces. And I'm like, what are those? And they look like maybe mushroom bottoms, but they're not, because the mushroom bottoms have their own bottom, the other mushrooms. So I don't know. Maybe it belongs to the squirrel? Either way, I'm not using them right now. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is start off by sticking the little... This to the pants. How about that? So I'm just putting a little glue on the very top of the pants. I do not know what these... Oh, these are the sleeves, duh. I do know what they are. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I said I don't know what they are. Okay, there's that. On the little pants. The pants do have a little... Um, uh, like a little... What's the word? Impression down here on the top of the jacket and down here to look like a separation of legs, you know? And I suppose you can do this however you like. Um, his little boots, are they right on his body? That's what it looks like. I'll go with the boots next. Now I'm just going to put glue at the very bottom of this little shape. And put one boot here. Oh my gosh, how adorable. And one little boot here. I might have put the glue up to... Hi, there we go. Okay, I put a little too much glue. I'm going to hold on to this and let it dry a little bit, and I'll be right back. Actually, well, I kind of want to clean up the glue, so I'm just going to remove some of that. And since I'm already here holding him, let's put his... I don't know if I want to put his little arms yet. So this is all up to you how you decorate, you know? Um, yeah, I guess. I would probably have waited to see where I was going to put his little hands to see what I want him doing. But uh, I'm going to stick one here. Look at that, I missed the glue altogether there. <laughs> and then this one. And this is kind of why I didn't record too much of the cutting because paper piecing little projects takes time. So I already knew I was going to spend a lot of time doing this part. Okay, I'm going to put his little body down for now. If I want to move his arm, I'll just have to rip it off <laughs> and then redo it. Um, his little hat, I want it to be, I suppose that one. I cut these at the same time. You saw that I did two layers of paper so that everything cut at the same time. So I have his little hat. It's bright yellow with a mustard trim. I'll put that here. And the other thing on that same die, the same hat die, it has the hat, it has the trim, it also has the belt. So I ran just a piece of that through to get the black for his belt. So there's his little hat. Let's get his belt. And I will put glue where I think the belt should go. And I'll stick that down. Oh, well, I'm doing this if you guys would um, respond, if you have a moment. So this is the little pieces I'm working with. Is this too high up or should I bring it down? I know sometimes I'll video, uh, videotape, obviously. I go back to review and I'm like, oh, that was too close or that was too far away, you know? So I'm curious when I have little pieces, do you want the video up a little bit closer or is that kind of claustrophobic? Let me know. Uh, okay, so we have those pieces. We need his face for later. I need the little hands. Let's see, where is his other little hand? Here it is. Um, so let's go ahead and put a little glue here. <laughs> That's how I'm doing that. Easy enough. And then this little hand. Right here. Uh, I'm just going to do it that way. so cute oh my goodness um what else does his body need he needs his little buckle and you can always cut this out obviously in different colors i just made 
went quick and easy cutting it out gray as his little beard and everything else. You guys know I finally got gray paper from the last um, Spellbinders box that came in. It had gray paper in it. And I was like, yay, gray paper. Okay, which way does this buffalo need to face? Aw, like this. So cute and so tiny. I suppose you can make it face either way, but the little latches on that side. That is so adorable. Okay, so we have his little hat. We have his little head, obviously. We have his beard. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Let me see here. Let me see. I suppose I could put his beard down. That would be okay. I like to kind of see what it is that I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put his little beard. And I'm putting glue on his face. If you want to put it on the beard, go ahead so you know exactly where it goes. But I'm just kind of eyeballing that part of it. <laughs> and I want to see how far down. Mm, it's basically right at the edges. I totally miss that mark. It's right at the edges of his face, guys. And then this... Oh my gosh, how adorable. What I want to see is how far down they, you know, do whatever you like. I'm kind of trying to see what they did, but at the same time, it's hard to tell. And sometimes the little drawing that they have is a little bit different than what the actual end product is. So it looks different anyway. Just slight variations, you know. So this is a little hat. So the next thing I want to do is cut out his eyes, he has a little mouth, he has little cheeks. <laughs> He's got a lot of stuff going on, but that, all that stuff. And I was looking at this, I'm like, why is there a dog paw in here, <laughs> a dog print? That little paw does everything. So there's eyes, there's cheek, there's a nose, and then there's a mouth. So whatever colors that you want to cut those things out in, you're gonna run this thing that many times. So I know for sure I'm gonna cut it out in black for the eyes. I'm gonna cut it out in like a little light pink for his, cheeks and then we need a nose color which should be the same color as the skin and then the mouth I guess I'll do like in a red just so that um, it's different from the che the cheek color okay so I'll be right back and I'm gonna put all those little tiny things here <laughs> and then we'll layer them on and we're almost okay, done guys for this one I'm gonna get a little bit closer <laughs> all right we have our black for the eyes and they all stayed in here which is just fine with me I'm just trying to see how they are okay so we're gonna put a little I forgot I haven't stuck his uh, his features down, so <laughs> his head down. Let me put those down. I just pop those out. I'm not moving these at all. They do have a little shape to them, so I'm trying to put them down. Oopsie. You see how they do have a, a certain shape to them? So I'm just using them the way they came out of the die. But they're about the same, I think. They're kind of like a seed shape. So I'm assuming if you put this one here, I don't know. I'm just trying to keep them in order. Um, he needs a nose and his mouth. And this is the kind of thing where I like to work with you guys. Okay, so let's do the cheeks next. And in the picture, his cheeks are down in this area. So down in this little void here. And let's put those down in here. Those might also have a direction to them, I don't know. I'm just popping them in there. <laughs> and this one here. This one here, so tiny. I know this kind of thing isn't for everybody, and for some people it's not even possible. It's just very hard to work with. Um, I'm gonna put his little nose in here, which is kind of odd. <laughs> He's right on top of the beard. Oh my gosh, so cute, you guys. And his little mouth. <laughs> and then we'll put his eyebrows on. 
But his little mouth is like in here somewhere. Again, I mean, if you want to make it crooked or sideways just to be cute, you can do whatever you like. Oh my gosh, adorable. And his eyebrows are right above his eyes, so I'm going to put some glue right now. And then try to... Get those little eyebrows on here. Sorry, I hope I'm not out of frame because I got to get this close enough to me so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and, oopsie. And there. Uh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. And now we're going to stick that to his body. And that is done, you guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. I always like to put things at a jaunty angle. Oh no, he's been beheaded. Okay, let's hold on to this here. And usually I would look at my card and see what I want him to do. Maybe I want his head turning this way. I don't know. Like I said, if I need to change it, I will just yank it off. Okay, I'm going to take this one and cut it down really quickly to... Uh, let me think. Probably to like... I don't want to make it too small. Um, eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay. Oh, see what happens? I forget that this is so close up. So eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm going to cut it on my trimmer and I'll be right back. Okay. So a couple of things. I have my card base here and this again is just eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. It's eight and a half wide. So I didn't do anything with that, but we cut it at seven inches. Okay. And then we're going to take that to the side. And we are going to score this at three and a half inches. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three and a half inches. Right here. And this is just um, cardstock from, I think, Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Um, so what happens is I have all my cardstock, or most of it, in a bookshelf over here. And it's in there like this. So I don't really see, like, the brand or the label. I just pull it out, you know? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. But I think that's where it's from. Um, and it's just a beige one. I probably should have gone with white. But you know what? It's okay. It's Freeform Friday. We're going to do whatever we feel like. Okay. And which is pretty much what I do every time I make a card or anything. But there we are. That's my slimline base. And people keep asking um, if this costs more to send or things like that. Uh, it absolutely does not. It is just a business size envelope. You know how envelopes back in the day, everybody had business size, the big ones. And we always had the little tiny ones, right? Um, I forget what those are called. But... <laughs> You know, the basic envelope. So this guy will definitely fit in here. And if not, I mean, you even have extra. Also, um, unless you really put a lot of weight on it, you know, a lot of dressing up, it's going to go with one forever stamp, just a basic stamp, because business size envelopes go out with basic stamps, just like the little envelope, just like a regular card, unless it's too heavy, right? Or a big square shape or whatever. But, um, but yeah, all those basic sizes will still work. Okay, so this basically is three and a half by eight and a half, the card base. So I cut a piece of mat, which is basically going to take up the whole thing anyway, um, to three and three eighths by eight and three eighths. Now, if you don't like working with three eighths, then do quarter inches. You can do eight and a quarter by four and a quarter, you know. You just want to bring it down by a quarter inch, and then that means this guy should be cut at eight by three. Okay, I cut this guy eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm sorry, by three and a quarter. So this is just a little bit bigger than that. Also, I forgot that that was stamping paper from Crafter's Companion. So it's already A4 size. So I didn't have to cut anything off the width because it was already eight and a quarter. Um, all I had to do was trim down the other part. And I took a little off the top, a little off the bottom of the stamp just so that, you know, it still have about the same amount of blue and white skies. <clears throat> if this looks too, you know, aerial for you guys for this design, um, you could always take some ink. And what I mean is like, oh, it's always in the sky and then his little toadstool. You can take some ink and do a little green down here. But I'm going to put grass down there, so that's what I'm going to do for that part. So I am absolutely just going to stick this down too because I just need it to be flat. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Woo, I love it. I love that kind of thing. That stamp is amazing. So... Um, hopefully if you have it, because I know a lot of people did pick it up when I showed it the first time. 
Well, I don't even know if I know a lot of people did. I know several of you guys said that you uh, picked it up. Um, it's a really gorgeous stamp. They have several other ones, which now I'm going to definitely pick up. Um, I think they have like a forest skyline or different ones where you can layer them up. Um, they're slimline, but you can layer the stamps up. Um, anyway. Uh, again, that's Impression Obsession or IO Stamps. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to cut grass from this set here. So I'm going to run this through probably three times, I think, if I do it three times. And this is the other thing, if I had thought about it ahead of time, I would have just cut my grass. But what I'm going to do is something different. I'll do a little trick that we don't have to cut it afterwards. We'll just layer it up. So I'm going to cut this guy out three times, probably, like I said. Um, and I'll as be right back. As far as the grass, obviously you can do as much as you want if you have another grass dye or however. It just depends on the style of what you're looking for. I did cut out two greens and <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying to smack this out, but I guess I could just poke it out. Um, I just realized I'm like smacking, smacking it without saying anything. Um, this is a, a little bit lighter green. So just to give us some different colors from the background, darker green and this lighter green right here. Okay. Um, very similar colors, not too different there. This little gnome set has a little like grass patch. I guess you could use this whole thing for the whole thing, but um, it's very tall. That's the only thing. If I use that little grass patch, I don't know. Basically, it's to hold your little like sign. Let's say you have your little sign. You have a little patch of grass that you can pop it in there. And then there's lots of ways to use it around your other pieces. So cute. Oh my gosh, maybe I need to do that. Well, I like I said, I already have my own grass. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. We have our little guy. We have our little toadstool. Oh my gosh. So cute. I just don't know if I want to put this here and then maybe this in front of that. Do, do, do. Where do I want to put these things? I guess I could. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. And what I mean is, normally what I would do is I would size this up and then I would let this be off the side and I would have cut it off. But since I stuck this down first, I'm just going to glue this down in here and just leave it down here. I'm going to leave the grass free floating on the top though. So I'm just lining that up the bottom of my card here. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'll do the same thing for the other side. I'll stick that down and I'll be right back. I'm I love this. This is so cute because I'm trying to see where do I want to put all these things. This doesn't have to be right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? It could be kind of over to the side. However you want to place your grasses. Again, the kit has more grass. I suppose I could use the grass in the kit to make this higher in the background but I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick this here and I'm not doing anything glue gelled which is not like me I know and I'm not sticking this quite down yet the top part because I need to know where that is so I can put this oh my gosh how cute you guys saw in the envelope we still had room for this to be in a business size envelope so you can definitely go off the top but I think that's what I'll do I'll put that there Normally, I probably would have pop dotted that little stem just to give it some, some more something, you know. Okay, I'm going to hold that down for a minute. Just till it sets up. I'm probably going to look at the back of the card because I did put glue wherever I felt like. So there's a little bit sticking at the top. And I'm just going to lay this right on top of here. Again, a little bit offset too. I think that's cute. And then we have our little gnome, and I'm probably going to have to put up a sign, aren't I? <laughs> or at least a sentiment, let me see. So cute. Put that there. And he's just going to be standing here on top of the grass, but, you know, wherever you want to put him, that'd be fine. Be just great. Should I put him there? And then we have a little sign here. Maybe we will pop dot him. Let's give him a little texture. I'm just going to use my 3D glue gel. <clears throat> Hopefully it's ready and I don't have to fuss with it, but let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used it yesterday and I cleared out a clog that it had, so. All right. My goodness, he is such a cutie. Okay. Let me think about what I want to do about this sign. I probably will go ahead and just cut it out, whatever pieces I need for it. And then we'll see if I if I use both pieces. So we have this inner piece that you can cut out, and then this backside piece, and then the sign itself, the little post. 
And then we have the grass uh, for it, but I don't know that I'll... Maybe I'll put the grass on there. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'll be right so back. So I compared the... Um, the stamps, I already put them away because I went to look for other ones. Um, it's too big, the little letter, even though they were small. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stick this together and I think I'm gonna write something. Like it's, uh, the one said, hi, I think that's cute. Or hello, or I don't know what, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna take that little sign. So cute. Put that little topper on there. I'll write on that in just a minute. I'm still looking at something here. Okay. And we have our little, actually I'm writing it right now. Do, do, do. Micron pen, where are you? I have tons of them here, there. Uh, and I don't know about sizing, I don't really care. Let's see. <laughs> that one's fine, I suppose. And I think I'm just gonna have it say hi. And since this is just a little rustic little gnome I'm going to make it look like silly like that, and then um, I'm going to put little dots. I would say little bolitas. In Spanish, you would say bolitas. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Okay, now how are we going to put this? Oh my gosh. Uh, let me put a little glue on this. I always feel like everything has to be crooked because, you know, I don't know, that's just what I like to do. <laughs> But if you want to put your sign straight up and down, you know, that's up to you. That's a little too crooked. Let's put it this way. And put a little sign here. And I have the grass cut out. I wasn't sure how I'm going to use it. This is the grass from the kit. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I'll go ahead and just glue this down. And that's it, guys. So hopefully you like today's Freeform Friday. I just, again, just kind of went with it, which is basically what I do every day anyway, but <laughs> most of the time. Um, but there's that. And then I'll glue gel this little piece of grass. I'll just put a little glue gel down across the bottom. And that's it guys. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys were curious about this background stamp and I was too. I was like, yes, I want to use it. I said, maybe I'll use it tomorrow. And here we are. So um, really cute, really sweet. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys later on today. Maybe, possibly, hopefully things are going to start being delivered. I know um, I heard from, I guess, Art Impressions. They're not far away from here. So, well, they're far enough, but they usually, I usually get this stuff whenever they send it out pretty quickly. I haven't heard from Elizabeth, I haven't heard from Tonic, I haven't heard from, um, is that all I'm waiting for? Maybe those are the only two. I thought there was another third one from Cyber Week, but anyway, guys, I hope you guys are doing great, and look at that. Oh, I love it. All right, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.